Welcome to this tutorial on using OpenX. Today we're going to cover adding an advertiser to the system, adding a campaign, and uploading a ad and assigning it to a zone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into the system. Once you do that, you're going to get a splash page with some links across the top here. One that we're interested in today is the inventory link. So click on that and you will get uh, the list of all of our current advertisers. If you're just adding an ad to a current advertiser, simply uh, click on their link and get started. But today we're actually going to create a new advertiser and we're just going to call them Test Advertiser for the name. This could be the company name or a person's name. And who the contact person? Uh, typically here at the Sun Journal we use an internal uh, contact as well as an internal email address. Now you have some options here to have the uh, delivery statistics uh, emailed to you on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. You can set that duration here. And you can also get an email notification of when the, um, the campaign has been activated or deactivated. I'm just going to turn all that off for today since I can access this system at any time. Then you're going to want to click Next. The uh, next screen is where we are going to set up the, cam the campaign for the advertiser. A campaign is nothing more than uh, look at it as maybe a container that will have ads in it uh, with dates of when it will run and where it will run. So we're just going to call this uh, test campaign. Now for this campaign we're going to need to set a activation date and an expiration date. I want this one to start right away, but if I wanted to maybe do it, uh, set it up for the future, I could just click on the calendar icon and click that date uh, that I wanted. Uh, it's always a good idea to expire uh, these campaigns as well, so we know when they're going to end. Uh, so let's put this one maybe at the end of the month. Uh, the next thing we need to be concerned about is the priority. Uh, of the campaign. This is how it will appear in relation to other campaigns in a zone. We like to just split the difference here and give everybody a equal medium weight so everybody has uh, the best shot at getting their their campaigns visible to our readers. We also like to set uh, a number of impressions per day. Um, this is actually a little more complicated than just saying hey you know give me X amount per day but uh, this actually deals with leftover uh, um, campaigns, or excuse me, leftover inventory for the day. So um, OpenX requires a number here, so we just put a thousand in there. Go ahead and click Save Changes. And now you're going to be prompted to assign this campaign to a zone. So we're going to actually add uh, an ad to the comments section we actually have three zones on sundrill.com but I'm going to put this ad in the first uh, comment zone just by simply checking that box and go ahead and click save changes so now we need to upload a banner into the system now be aware that the zone that we have selected has a size parameter and since this is what is called a, a, a standard banner uh, add size. It's going to be uh, 468 pixels wide by something like 60. Uh, but be aware that if your ad is not sized to the exact dimensions of the, of the zone size, it will not appear. Actually, you won't even be able to add it uh, to that zone. So let's go ahead and upload an ad into the system. I'm just going to call it test ad. I'm going to click the uh, browse button and just find an ad on here. I'm going to view thumbnails so I know what I'm looking at here. So there's the ad I want. You'll want to enter in the um, link that you want people to go to when they click on that ad. I'm just putting in sundrill.com just for uh, testing purposes. You can give this ad a weight within the campaign. I say that because let's say I had uh, three, three ads in a campaign and I want them to rotate in different weights. That is, maybe I want my first ad to appear twice as much as the uh, second and third ad. So what you can do is actually give the one that you want to appear most a weight of three and the other ones a weight of one. And uh, which, whichever ad you apply that three to will appear 
uh, more often. So I'm going to leave it at one since I'm only going to be dealing with one ad and click save changes. So that's all there is to it. Um, now your ad is online and ready to appear in the zone that you designated. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, there will be other more advanced uh, tutorials online. Uh, those will be coming soon. Thanks a lot.